Hi all, today I'm sketching a simple building and sharing three things I discovered in my learning process that helps me sketch loose. These tips I'm sharing worked for me and if it works for you, then that's exactly why I started this channel, to help you discover your art style and your style of learning just like I did when I was beginning. If you're new to my channel, this is all about my learning process and the sharing of information I gathered from my time in animation to the urban sketch courses I've taken recently online and through videos on YouTube. Okay, so if you're self-taught, which I'm not sure if that's the correct word because I still learned from others. So maybe if you're not a formally trained artist and just beginning urban sketching, I think that's a better term, then um, let's get started. The first tip that helped me sketch loose is to not sketch loose, but to learn how to draw first. Now hear me out, I've always liked background designs when I worked in animation. So fast forward to a couple of years ago, when I was scrolling through Instagram, I found Ian Fennelly and Albert Kiefer. And of course there are more amazing artists that I've discovered since, but those two Instagram accounts caught my eye initially. And the feeling I had back in animation, watching the background artists, shout out to Sam, Olga, Bill, Greg, and John, by the way, that old feeling when I hovered over them, just came back as I scrolled through their Instagram feeds and I was determined to learn urban sketching. So I decided to steal like an artist and copy their style, but it just wouldn't stick. It didn't work. Then I played back in my head on the advice that the layout artist gave me, which was to take life drawing classes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't want to learn character design, but basically those were the baby steps I needed to take to learn to draw. Now, I don't think anyone who wants to learn urban sketching needs to take a life drawing class by any means. I was in animation, so their guidance and advice was geared towards a career in animation back then. But my advice to those at the beginning stages of your urban sketching journey is to learn the fundamentals first. So learn the structure of a building, draw different windows, doors, stairways, street furniture, and anything you see in an urban sketch, and just learn how to draw those first and draw those well. Have a page in your sketchbook of just windows, of just doors, stoplights, etc. You get what I'm saying? Okay, let's Let's finish up this pencil sketch and I'll get to tip number two. So now the second tip that helped me sketch loose is to turn your thumbnail into your actual sketch. A thumbnail is supposed to be your rough sketch, right? So just making sure that your proportions are correct, you're adding, subtracting anything you want or don't want in the scene, you're just warming up. And think about it, you're already sketching loose because that's what a thumbnail is. 
So why not just increase the size of your thumbnail to the size of your intended drawing, which is exactly what I did for the sketch. Then when I do my first pass in inking, I automatically stay loose. You'll see when I upload my no pencil sketch videos, that means I did a smaller size thumbnail before I pressed record. So when I record myself sketching with pencil first, that's my thumbnail. I don't sketch a smaller version before that. Okay, let's finish up inking this and then we'll move on to tip three. Okay, so I had to take the dogs out to Tinkle and when I came back, I totally forgot to hit record when I started painting. Such a bummer, but I used the wet on wet technique and I'm pretty happy how it turned out.
Finally, my third and last tip on what helped me to sketch loose is when you're ready to lay down that final ink, which for me is after I paint, is just to sketch with confidence, sketch faster than usual, and not really care about staying in the lines. I really like Felix Scheinberger's sketchy style, so I tend to lean in on that look, but a continuous line look is also really cool looking. I'll list a few amazing artists that I found on Instagram that I really like that you should check out.
So to summarize, the three tips that help me sketch a looser are one, learn how to draw the fundamentals of any urban sketch first. I created an illustrated dictionary in my head and I'm continuously adding to that because style will eventually come after. Two, Sketching a thumbnail or a rough draft is an automatic loose sketch, so run with that. I allowed myself to be happy with something very sketchy and loose. At first, I wasn't used to it, but eventually you'll be happy with it. Number three, once you're comfortable with roughing out your sketches through thumbnails, then you can start sketching with confidence and sketching faster. Because sketching fast allows for those little discrepancies in your line work to just naturally happen. Then as you build your technique, you can create more loose lines and develop your own style. All right, I hope these tips resonated with you or help you discover another technique that works for you to start sketching loose and finding a style that you love. Let me know how your sketch turned out in the comments or tag me on Instagram. And until the next video, stay positive, stay creative, and be kind.